today we'll be looking at chemistry 1502 and the topic for today is elimination reaction lesson 101 let us start so far we've covered a number of reactions we've covered the hydration the dehydration we've covered the substitution reaction we've covered the acid catalyzed dehydration of alcohols we've covered the number of reaction and elimination is one of those reaction that we'll be discussing as you can hear the word elimination it means you are going to eliminate a few atoms or groups in order to form a new functional group in this lesson we will be forming specifically alkenes meaning that we'll be taking organic molecules from a certain functional group undergoes elimination to form an alkene as our product now what you should know is that alkyl halides can undergo elimination to form alkenes you should also know that alcohols can undergo elimination to form alkenes elimination reaction that we'll be using today will involve the loss of two atoms or groups from the substrate usually this will result into the formation of a new pi bond remember that pi bond is the double bond so once we remove two atoms or groups there will be a new formation of a pi bond and we know that if we have a double bond between two carbons that is when we can talk about alkenes under elimination we have a number of elimination let me say different types of elimination reaction we have like I said the acid catalyzed dehydration of alcohol since we have an alcohol and our product is alkene that is another type of elimination and we also have the dehydrohalogenation which is where we have elimination reaction whereby a proton and a halide ion is actually eliminated from a substrate to form an alkene so let us look at general equations suppose we have now we are talking about an alkyl halide undergoing elimination to form an alkene so let's say we have by the way we know that x represents our halide and then let us just put H here by the way this is a general equation we have an alkyl halide reacting with a base in this case we don't talk about nucleophiles by the way elimination and substitution reaction they go hand in hand or we can say they compete we know that under nucleophilic substitution reaction we have a substrate and a nucleophile but in this case we have an alkyl halide and a base and then this when they react they form let me write it like this we can have our base here bonded with that hydrogen plus we have our alkene plus our living group or our halide ion so you can see we had an alkyl halide reacting with the base to form an alkene now like I said elimination reaction it goes hand in hand with substitution reaction you might find that there is a reaction whereby the product can be from the elimination together with a product from substitution find that we have a mix products because the two they go hand in hand now using this general equation let us look at a few examples suppose we have this organic molecule we react this with uh, methanol
we can see it's an alkyl halide. We'll react this with methanol. By the way, I'm not going to be looking at the mechanism. We are going to cover the mechanism in the next lesson. Just going to apply this general equation in order to predict the product. So what happens is that elimination, remember we said we are going to remove two atoms or two groups. But in this case we are going to remove an, an halide ion and hydrogen. We have to remove this and one of the hydrogens. So it's one halide and hydrogen. So we know that definitely sure this is going to be removed and it goes with this bond. So it's actually going with this bond. Let me just put that back. We are going to remove this with the bond and we can choose any hydrogen in this case. As you can see that this is a primary a carbon and also this one is a primary carbon so we don't have any secondary when it comes to stability so we can either remove this or we can remove this hydrogen here so if you decide to remove this green one we are going to have a product like this the double bond will be between this carbon and this one so since you've removed one hydrogen you're going to be left with two hydrogens and then for for this one we have removed only the good living group or the living group we are left with this hydrogen and then for this one we did not do anything so it's going to have so you can see this is an alkene then we can put Br since it is left with a pair of electrons it will be negative so if we remove this it will still be the same as the structure and also the IUPAC name will be the same they are not anantiomers because they are just identical So the double bond will be between this carbon and this one. So we have the double bond here. And then this one, we did not do anything to it. And then we are going to have hydrogen and then we are going to have two hydrogens here. So you can see this is propene and also this one, it's propene. I'm talking about this one because if you start counting from this structure, it's one, two, three then for this one if we start counting we're not going to count from here we're going to count from here one two three you can see the double bond is between the first and the second also this one the first and the second so it's propene you can see the answer is still the same we are going to be looking at an example whereby we can have a more substituted product compared to the other one let us look at the structure we we'll react this with methanol and by the way with the previous example I forgot to also include part of the product will be this one with an extra hydrogen so it will be CH3 O since hydrogen I mean oxygen bonded three times is going to have a positive charge so this one we are also going to use our methanol as our base and then this is the substrate then we can see the living group it's still br so it is going to leave the substrate and then we're going to have a carbocat ion 
this will be a carbo cation if it leaves this so from here we have to decide whether we are going to take this hydrogen or this one or this one usually use a different color or this one so you can see all the carbons which are surrounding this carbocat ion they have hydrogens then we will have to choose which one we have to take the hydrogen from and the most stable product will be the one which is more substituted so if we take this hydrogen we are going to have a double bond here and then the question is will this be the most substituted structure we look at the carbons which are bonded to the one of the carbon carbon which are involved in the double bond so looking at this carbon we don't have any other carbon besides this except for this one which forms the double bond and then looking at this one we have one two so you can see it is di substituted if we take this hydrogen now let us just remove this and then let us check if we take this hydrogen here then it means we're going to form a double bond here now let us check this carbon it's bonded to two other carbons and then uh, this carbon is bonded to one other carbon so it is tri substituted you can see it is more stable compared to when we form a double bond here so let us check if we take this hydrogen here we are going to form a double bond here so this carbon is bonded to one two and then this carbon is bonded to so it is tri substituted so you can see that the most major let me say the major product will come from when we take this hydrogen or this one still the stability will be the same but taking it from this it will be the minor product so we can simply choose in this case let us take this hydrogen then we're going to have a double bond here and then another carbon so here you're just going to have an extra and then this one you don't have to put more this one you're going to put two this one you're going to put three and then two and then it will be plus ch3 you will see how we came about having this when we look at the mechanism so this was the introduction of elimination reaction this is Bakula SJ thank you very much